Hey guys, um, Joseph David here, and welcome back to um, this Next.js tutorial. In this part of the tutorial, we'll be looking at how to set up Prisma and Superbase, which are going to be important to implement our watchlist functionality in our movie management app. Um, first off, what is um, Prisma? Um, Prisma is, um, is a um, database ORM, an ORM which stands for um, Object um, Relational Mapper. We, um, it helps us to interact with our database using um, object-oriented and um, programming techniques. Um, so um, it helps us, it simplifies, Prisma simplifies the process of, you know, um, writing um, queries to database using a simplified um, format. So we can use Prisma to um, read, write, update, and delete data in our database using um, simple method calls that looks like, uh, that look like um, um, familiar um, CRUD operations that we use with um, JavaScript. It can also help us with um, with a database schema and a data validation and query optimization, which is going to make it easier to work with um, with our database um, overall. And uh, so, um, the next thing we're going to look at is um, uh, Superbase. So, uh, Superbase is one of my favorite tools. It's um, it's an open source um, cloud-based platform that, you know, it provides a suite of um, backend services for web and mobile application. It's usually dubbed as an open source alternative to Firebase. And it offers services such as authentication, database management, file storage, and lots more. And uh, it's built on top of PostgreSQL, and it's literally a PostgreSQL as a database service. And it provides an intuitive interface for us to manage our application data. And uh, it's also um, so provides um, support for um, real-time um, data synchronization and serverless functions, which which makes it a powerful tool for you know uh, modern um, web and mo mobile and uh, modern web and mobile apps. So um, one benefit of using Superbase is that um, it it provides a complete um, suite of um, important um, um, tools that you need for your backend infrastructure without requiring um, developers to have their own server. And it's, it's, it's also, um, free. Um, it's, um, I mean, it's open source. It's actually free. And, um, it also has a paid plan. Um, the free plan is more than enough, which is what we're going to be using in this tutorial. So how are we going to be using it together with Prisma? So, um, since Prisma is our database ORM, it's going to allow us to write um, type safe and efficient um, database um, queries with a familiar and intuitive API. Um, Superbase is that um, cloud-based database that we are going to be interacting with. So um, to use, um, you, and it's, it's, it's fully compatible with Prisma. So um, to use Superbase with um, Prisma, we have to configure our Prisma schema to use um, the um, super to use some um, Superbase. And then uh, we also have to provide our Superbase um, database credentials to um, Prisma so that we're able to, you know, interact uh, with it. So once we have our Prisma schema and our connection configured, we'll be able to um, create and manage our database schema and start writing efficient um, database queries necessary for our work, um, for our watch list um, functionality. Now let's get into um, setting up Prisma in our Next.js application. So, um, if you follow the startup files, you wouldn't have to run any installation because um, everything was provided in our package.json file. So, um, after, so, but if you haven't, you run the command um, npm install Prisma if you're using npm as your package manager. If you're using yarn, it's going to be yarn add um, Prisma. So after you've done that, you need to um, set up your Prisma project by, you know, creating your Prisma schema. And in our case, it's going to run, um, we're going to, um, you know, instantiate uh, a new terminal here and I'm going to run um, yarn prisma yarn prisma in it or you could run npx prisma in it and npx is going to select the, uh, the package manager that you use to install the um, the, um, the library in the first place so I'm going to run uh, yarn prisma in it and uh, running that, we set up Prisma in our uh, application. And uh, as you can see, it has created um, a Prisma folder and a Prisma schema file, as you can see. So you click on it here, you can see it says this is a Prisma schema file. And we have a client 
which is a provider, and our provider is Prisma Client JS. And our database is a PostgreSQL, and the URL is going to pull it out from the database URL variable in our um, environment variables. Okay, so uh, that's it. That's how to set up Prisma in your Next.js project. Now you're going to look at how to set up Superbase to um, connect to our Prisma file, and then we start um, and then we can start creating our schema from there. So back to Superbase, you um you have to create an account. So we're gonna click on um, start your project. And we are gonna create an account if you don't have one already. So you click on sign up now. And you click on a continue with GitHub. And you authorize um Superbase you create your GitHub application. And now that we're authenticated or authorized to access our application, we can you can we now have the option to you know create a project. So we're gonna click on new project and I'm gonna give it a name. I'm gonna say um real range okay real ranger clone. I'm gonna give you the database password. So I'm gonna generate a new password. And this is very important. You have to copy this database password. So you can copy it. Um, I'll advise you just, um, let's just paste it down here. Okay. So we're going to head back here and I'm going to pick my region. So you're going to pick the region that is going to be closer to your users, which is going to um, affect the performance. So here I'm going to pick East US, not Virginia. And for pricing plan, I'm going to go for um, free. I'm going to click on create new project. And uh, after creating a new project, you have to give Superbase a few minutes to um, provision your database and API endpoints. And it's going to take um, a couple of minutes, maximum of five minutes. And now our project is set up. Um, we can see we have um, quick starts on what, um, on how our application has been used for the past 24 hours. Or it could be 16 minutes or seven days. So um, to get Superbase working with Prisma, what we need is our connection string. And uh, we're going to click on project settings and I'm going to click on um, database. And you can see our connection info right here. And what's important is the connection string section. And we have PSQL, we have URI, we have Golang, JDBC, .NET, Node.js, PHP, Python. What we are interested in is our URI here. So this is what we need. This is the connection string that we need. So we're going to click on copy. And we're going to go to um, our environment variable. And in um, our database URL, we're just going to, um, we're just going to clear this out. And, uh, paste this in. And mind you, we have this um, path that saves your password. Now, remember, I asked you to save your um, password. So you, you just um, copy this right here and move to um, .env and you replace the square brackets with the actual password. Paste it in and you are good to go. You are good to go. So um, yeah, that's uh, that's basically how to um, you know set up um, Superbase with Prisma. First off, you install Prisma into your project using the package manager of your choice. And when you're done, you create an account. So Superbase, create a new project and create, um, uh, set your project um, details and you'll be provided with um, a table with the database and uh, you go to project settings and you copy the URI of your, um, of your database connection string. And you move to Prisma and uh, it's your variable, variable rather, and you paste it into your database URL. And Prisma automatically sources that from this um, part that we could see here. So this is how to set up Prisma with Superbase. I know next video, we'll be setting up the models and the schema for our application and link it together with our authenticated.